Hi, y'all. I discovered since I left Christianity that I no longer have problems. Instead, what do I have? I have occurrences. Yes, I prefer using that word for challenges and things in my life that are sometimes considered unpleasant. So, words make a lot of difference. And, of course, we know that words are spells. So, I don't want the spell on me using the word problem, so I am replacing it with occurrences. And what can I learn from those occurrences? How can they challenge me to grow and to further develop? Yes, those things are placed in our paths oftentimes to further our evolutions. And we are evolutionaries, those of us who are serious about the mystical craft. So, that is more encouraging and reassuring to consider things as occurrences as opposed to problems. Now, the other day I watched this video with Bobby Hemmett in it. And he said something that struck me quite strongly. And that was that one day he had a cold. And he looked in his cabinets and so forth and didn't find anything that was going to resolve his cold matter. So, he said he went into the refrigerator and there was a peach soda. And he decided to use what they call the placebo effect. And spiritually and mentally, he made that soda into what he needed to solve the issue of his cold. And when he did that, the soda did precisely what was needed. To rid him of his cold symptoms. So, we can definitely use magic and mystical means to alter what occurs in the physical. Another example is organic foods. Now, organic foods are not the have all and be all as far as healthy living because they themselves have some issues as well. However, I believe that overall, for the most part, they are healthier than the standard food fare. But there are some people who cannot afford regular purchases of organic foods. So, being in the mystical arena, you can decide that the food that you purchase is going to be organic for you, for your system. When you digest it and swallow it, <laughs> magically it is organic and healthy. In fact, you can even reach levels where anything you eat is healthy for you, regardless of the labels. However, I would not advise people to just be foolish and go out there and pig out on McDonald's and Checkers and Popeyes and, and stuff yourselves with junk food and donuts and say, okay, magically, this food is healthy for me. That's just plain stupid. But overall, sensible people get the drift of how to do it. And also, when it comes down to medical issues, I am not saying every time that you have a medical issue that you decide that you're going to magically alter it and that it is not going to be in evidence. Sometimes we need to take our answer to the doctors. And the children, don't be doing experiments on children with the magical situation. If your child has a cold <laughs> and it prolongs, take their answers to the doctor, okay? Don't be talking about I'm using magic on my child. In fact, sometimes people can get arrested for not getting medical treatment for their children. It's one thing if you do it as an adult, but a child doesn't have the um, say-so, so you have to really use reason and sensibilities when it comes to dealing with matters of your children. Now, there have been some Christian people that I have read about and heard about that decided they're going to trust God for, to heal their child and the damn children have died. And that is an extreme, and some of them are serving time right damn now for not taking their kids to get medical assistance and, and care. So let's be, you know, sensible about these things, people. But, but overall, there are things that we can alter in the physical world that we don't have to go to the medical professionals for assistance because I've done it myself with some physical ailments I've had. I have used magic, crystals, and so forth, and meditation, and the, whatever the symptoms were, they dissipated. Did it always happen instantly? A few times, yes. There was at least one occasion I can think of in recent memory that it didn't instantly go away, but I didn't go to the doctor's. Am I telling you not to go to the doctors? No, I'm saying I didn't go to the doctors. <laughs> and I'm not saying I never will go to a doctor because I sure will if I feel like the need arises, okay? So it's not, it's not a formula, X, Y, Z, one, two, three. It's a case-by-case -case basis. So I just want to share that with you all, and I thank you all for listening. And just, you know, use your magic power for practical areas 
and just see what the universe will do and honor you for your trust in the universe. Woohoo! Thank y'all for listening. Bye now.